three-year pandemic era pause, student loan repayments resumed October 1st. And even though North Dakota borrowers on average owe less than those in other states, Emily Ivey tells us they still have concerns. Gabriel Tome's debt story started in 2019 as an up-and-coming college freshman. Wanting to follow in his older sister's footsteps, he took out a mix of both federal and private variable rate student loans to attend the University of Mary. There wasn't too much of a tutorial on how to do that, so I'm like, oh, I'll just keep doing whatever like um, my sister's done before. Because I'm like, well, she's out of college, and so it must have worked for her. For him, college was the experience of a lifetime, filled with all the highs and lows you'd expect for a dedicated student with newfound independence. But on the other side of graduation was a mound of debt to be repaid. And privately, I'm paying a little over 600 a month, and then... Federally, it's going to be a little over 200 a month. Tome realized the once attractive private variable rate loans underwent rate hikes, but at least his federal student loans were paused. But now, Tome has $30,000 in federal loans and $53,000 in private loans to be repaid, which begs the question, was it worth it? I'm a Catholic studies major. I'm currently training for life insurance. So as you can tell, there's not too much overlap with that. However, with it being a liberal arts degree and being able like teaching yourself how to learn, it gives me the ability to pick up a lot more like skills and tasks quicker and whoever pays the bills or puts food on the table. I can then apply myself better to it. So in a way, yes. Tom says he's determined to pay it all off by making wise purchases and working multiple side hustles. In Bismarck, I'm Emmeline Ivey for your News Leader. EDI reports more than 87,000 student borrowers live in North Dakota. That's more than 11% of the state's population.